Hey guys, this is Phil with Suncoach Remodeling. I just want to show you guys a couple quick tips on how to keep the cost of your kitchen remodel down. So these old kitchen cabinets used to be very dark and like a cherry wood look. They had different pools, much more dated, and the island actually used to be much smaller. Painting your cabinets as opposed to replacing them can be a quick way to elevate the look while keeping your cost down. So I gave the homeowner pricing options to replace the cabinets completely or just to paint the cabinets. They decided it would work better with their budget to just paint the cabinets as opposed to replacing them. A lot of times the color of the cabinets will make a kitchen feel dated. So a simple coat of white paint will make the cabinets feel and look much newer. So a lot of clients have this stigma or worry that your white cabinets are going to get dirty really easy. Well, when you use this type of paint here, which is a urethane, it's going to have extreme washability and durability. Other than painting your cabinets, you could actually replace the hinges on your cabinet doors. So these are all actually new handles and pulls on these cabinets. What we did is we filled in the holes of the original handles and pulls and then we installed the new ones in their new location. So it's really going to give these old school cabinets a really modernized look. Other than cabinet painting and hardware, another way to bring your old school kitchen up to date is under cabinet lighting. The existing kitchen had these old school fluorescent light bars that went underneath the cabinets. But what we're instead going to do is hook up this new ballast to under cabinet LED strips. So these LED strips are going to continuously run underneath these kitchen cabinets and really bring the under cabinet lights up to a whole new level. So these new LED strips will be able to be hardwired into your already wired wall. So you'll be able to control them and turn them on and off with your already wired switch. So I would recommend LED strips because it's going to be one beautiful long continuous run from one end to the other as opposed to the spotlights effect of a fluorescent puck light or an under cabinet bar. So other than lighting, another way to bring your kitchen up to date is through countertops, backsplash, and your sink. So we're actually able to remove the existing countertops and backsplash without damaging the kitchen cabinets themselves. So you can spend a lot less money updating your kitchen. If you do decide to change your countertop material, I recommend quartz because it is gonna be the most economically friendly solution. As an alternative to quartz material in a slab form, they have it in pre-fabricated slabs. So that's another way you can save on fabrication costs. Another way to save a little bit of money on your kitchen remodel is to keep your existing sink, but spend a little bit more money on the faucet. Doing something like that is gonna help keep the cost down, but make the kitchen sink feel much more contemporary and modern. So another cool way you guys can get your kitchen up to date is to use these cool USB outlets. And we'll put those in place of these original outlets and you'll be able to plug your phone in and then it's gonna help you modernize your kitchen. They're really inexpensive and a small detail like that can give a really huge upgrade to your kitchen. And lastly, my final tip would be to fill in the empty space that you'll see in between the top of the cabinets and the ceiling. And filling that in is gonna make the room feel a lot taller and give it a much more luxurious look. Thank you guys for sticking around. I hope this video can help you on your next kitchen remodel.